All right, this is for the user known as uh, Notre Ijimi. I'm not really sure if I pronounced that right. Again, I can't really pronounce it to begin with, so uh, back to the video. These are the latest additions to my sword collection. I saw how uh, how you li happen to like swords, so do I. And I got some pretty neat pieces. My l One of my most recent pickups is this Roman Gladius sword. Reproduction of what the Roman legionnaires used. And a whole host of other Roman uh, and soldiers. Pretty much standard equipment. I've also uh, got this presentation machete from Honduras. Very ornate, but still very functional. All steel blade sharp as all heck. I've got this uh, really big scimitar. I really don't know what kind it would be called. I think it might just be a fantasy piece. But, my lord, is it good. <laughs> uh, got this uh, Wasakashashi and Combination Tanto that's stored right in the same scabbard. Uh, Ninjato to sword, uh, pretty much what else is there to say? It's your standard ninja sword. Uh, while it's uh, said to be basically a work of fiction, you know, pretty much this came became popular due to the whole ninja movie craze. Uh, you can still find fully functional versions of this that'll work just as well as any other sword. Uh, some kind of some kind of little uh, uh, short katana style sword in like the machete style. I'm not really sure what they call it. Its name is called Takedown, but as far as blade style, I'm not really sure. Uh, in addition, I got one that needs a little work. It's uh, this Chinese war sword. It's a little loose in the handle. It's a good constructed piece. It's just, you know, it's just too loose. The blade itself is fine and could definitely stand up to some combat use. If you know, necessary or just, heck, if I were just to maybe, I don't know, cut up a few watermelons in the backyard. But it, like usual, just needs a little TLC loose and all that. Uh, one of my favorites. This is purely decorative, but it's just freaking kick. It freaking kicks ass because it's a neat little reproduction of the Highlander, Lander McLeod, uh... Sword. I don't know if it's uh, Duncan's or or Connor McLeod's. I do know it's one of them. It's just basically one of the cheaper versions. Pure, largely a decorative thing. Uh, but still decent nonetheless. Uh, I got these for some pretty good bargains. That one I paid 35 for. This one, I got real good. 25, not bad for a, for a, you know, a, for a, you know, a recreation, for a, you know, a movie prop. This one's another, uh, movie prop recreation, but it's a good one. This one is, is of, uh, the, uh, what was that movie? Uh, Hot, no, not Highlander, uh. Braveheart, that was it. The This is basically the William Wallace Claymore. More only it's the version that was used in the movie Braveheart that starred uh, Mel Gibson. 30 bucks on that. This one cost me like 40 but I'm happy with that. Very nice sheath, good leather work, decent blade. Uh, Gladiator cost me 30 That one cost me... 25 this one was well, a little closer to 40 but hey, it's uh, okay that one cost me uh, 20 that one in there that machete cost me 12 that one there cost me 10 I bought a lot of this stuff just second hand at flea markets for what it's worth these are some pretty nice pieces 
along with the other two. It's just, you know. Anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think. You know, comment, maybe leave a video response. For what it's worth, these are pretty darn cool. Anyways, you have a nice night.